Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5. So today is the Yuletide episode and I'm so excited for that. So in the machinima that you just saw, we had um, the Briarworth Royals. They are now in Amarantis, ready for Yuletide. And we saw that Silas, he is a bit nervous because he is going to be meeting dawn possibly during the episode so we'll have to see if that happens so before we start the episode i would just like to talk about the story posts briefly we had four since episode four and we had the first one was dimitri proposing to anna and anna rejecting the proposal then we had Dimitri getting eliminated from the whole competition. Then we had Dawn confiding in Stuart about their struggles with starting a family. And this one has a trigger warning on it. And then we also had Percy con being confronted by members of the High Council about the fact that he hasn't announced an engagement to another lady from Amaranthus yet. And these um, people from the High, can high can Council they suggested Percy hosting a debutante ball with Fabian's help in order for Percy to find a new queen, a new future queen, and Percy didn't take that very well and he's pretty upset that they even mentioned it to him. So another thing I like to um, talk about is the Regency Romance mod. So in this mod there is a feature called Lady Whistledown and Basically, Lady Whistledown talks about all the gossip, like the engagements, the parties, the weddings, the birth of babies, and scandals, and basically, um, Lady Whistledown is feature from the Bridgerton novels and the sh show, and this was um, created, this like phenomenon was started in the 18th century, and now, nowadays, they're known as like tabloids. So I will be actually using this feature now and sharing the pieces of gossip that it creates. And instead of Lady Whistledown, I'm calling her Lady Eris. So Lady Eris, she is named after the Greek goddess Eris, who is the goddess of discord, chaos, and strife. And it is possible that Lady Eris herself will cause some discord and strife among royals because of her gossip. So... In the um, Bridgerton like novels and shows, they Lady, Lady Whistledown actually used actual names, but historically accurate gossip um, columns they tended to use um, like fake names or fake names when referring to people. So Lady Eris would be kind of using these fake names or like names that are just not real basically or like kind of describing them in different ways so it is possible that lady whistledown or lady heiress will be talking about some of the royals some of the things that happened during this episode and i'll be sharing those pieces of gossip when the regency romance mod does it and so for the um, pieces of gossip that happened in the past, I will be showing them in the videos and also on the Instagram stories, but of course I'm going to adapt them a little bit to fit the story if needed and change all the names. So basically Lady Eris is going to be reporting on people using different aliases and so I'm going to read the two that came up from last episode that was generated by the Regency Romance mod. So the first one was, um, okay. I heard that Levine's debauched prince has proposed to a commoner or perhaps a lowly noble. No answers have been given as of yet, which leaves us wondering, is there a reason for hesitation? So I think it's important for me to say that in the Regency Romance mod, Lady Whistledown Lady Eris, they don't actually tell things that are true all the time. Like, sometimes they'll make up things just for fun, just to cause some more chaos. So this one is actually talking about Antoine and Angeline. And this wasn't true because Antoine has actually never proposed to Angeline before. So it does, like, create fake stories just to spice things up a bit, which I think is really fun. And the next one is... 
Felicitations are in store for the most notorious of ladies who has been blessed with a new bundle of joy. The legit legitimacy of this child is questionable. So this one is actually talking about Larissa. And it is actually talking about something that's true. Larissa does have a baby now. Her name is Maria. So I haven't actually decided if Lady Eris is going to be an actual character in the story or if she's just kind of like in the background, just like lingering somewhere. And I haven't really decided yet that, but um, Lady Eris, she does have a huge network of people that where she gets all this gossip because she is reporting on all four of the main kingdoms. So now to start of the episode, we are in um, Amaranthus, of course, and we are at the Royal Ranch. I did decide to have Clara come over here with Ambrose and Arabella just to hang out with the teens for a bit. And of course, we have a lot of teens here and I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I do have this skating rink over here that I wanted to use a mod modded version that was just the like pond but it wasn't working very well so I'm using the one from Seasons. I do think that once I do the story posts for this episode I'm going to replace it with the other one just because it looks a bit more historically accurate because <sighs> I will always love you. <laughs> of course. I will always love Who said that? Arabella. Of course. Okay so I am going to use the other one once I do the story post but for now we have this one. Um, for the, the point of this was just to have the teens hang out with each other. So I'm going to start the club gathering. I have Percy with the skating lads. So I'm going to have the skating lads come over now. And I'm going to see if, this, if I can have Asteria's club start too. So she's in the state skating girlies. which I, They're doing winter activities today. So that means they're going to be skating. I'm so excited. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have Ambrose over here, and, um, let me see, I'm gonna show you this guy. So this is Cornelius, he is the son of, uh, Oliver and Renee, and he, so he's, um, Julian and Clementina's cousin. I definitely think that, um, Ambrose and Arabella notice how Silas is so happy right now. Like, he is with, back with Sophia. They haven't seen each other since episode three. And I think that Silas is so happy to be here with Sophia. And I definitely think that Ambrose and Arabella, they kind of noticed Silas's mood change a little bit. And this is so important because Silas, he isn't as outwardly happy at home and this is mostly because of Sebastian due to his bullying and I do think Ambrose and Arabella are going to have like a little- <laughs> Percy is going to- I think Ambrose and Arabella are going to have a little conversation about Sebastian just being like awful. Like, he's pretty mean to Silas and I think that's terrible. Honestly, I also think that um, Silas's sisters, Iris, Kathleen, and Winifred are also going to kind of notice something going on between Sophia and Silas. So uh, maybe they'll like confront Silas about it later. We'll have to see about that. One thing I like to say about Sophia is that she is super, super talented at skating. She is like very, very good. And um, right he here we have Clara. She is watching Sophia with great interest. Sophia is super graceful. Um, so I think that Clara is like so impressed with Sophia. And <laughs> we have Silas, he's also skating here and he's not as, um, experienced he is trying like everyone here is trying um they're not on no one is on Sophia's level though which is kind of funny but look at that she is so so good I love her so much um and I do think we are going to oh wow she just like skated right on top of Silas <laughs> poor Delia though she is not faring oh Sap just did a backflip! Oh my goodness! Oh, what a, what a champ! We love her. And she did it again. Wow. 
Also, I think Sophia and Apollo are so cute. And I think that Sophia is so in love with him. Um, so one thing I'd like to say also is that these dresses, I couldn't really find anything that would be really super great for skating. That was also like Victorian. So I kind of just broke the rules a little bit. So yeah, this, but I really wanted something that was a bit shorter. So it'd be easier for them to skate. And I really love these snowmen that everyone created. I think they're super, super cute. And they made such cute snow angels too. That's like wonderful. And we also have Oscar teaching Clara how to read like with cards. I think that's super cute. So as we know, um, Oscar and Sophia are snowy Mariana Sims. Sims? And I think they're amazing. I love them so much. I love Oscar and Sophia and I love them all so much. So I don't know um, if you remember the story post of Oscar and uh, Simeon dueling and then Oscar won and ever since then Simeon's like ego has been hurt and uh, as we can see um, Oscar is still very good at what he does and so I think that they just they really like to practice dueling. I'm not sure exactly why they'd be practicing on Yuletide like this, but I think that is something they like to do a lot. And Iris over here, she is actually a swordswoman herself. She's not part of the World Guard, she can't really do that, but as we can see, um, she's pretty intrigued. So I don't think that um, Simeon would like to duel with iris because i think he'd be like oh i don't want to hurt you or anything and also i mean they are kind of like not really dressed for this anyways but uh, i think he'd be a bit patronizing and i don't think that iris would be very happy with that however i do think that oscar would be willing to spar with iris because oh oh my god iris won <laughs> oh i love that okay so I think that, um, yeah, I, I think that Oscar would be willing to spar with Iris. I think he's a lot more respectful in that regard. And oh my god, I love that. Well, also like to thank Zoe for um, helping me with the sword marks earlier. Thank you. We actually got it working, so that is amazing. <laughs> so. Iris won the fight and also Oscar won against Simeon so that makes me really happy I think that's super cool and it is getting dark now so I think everyone is going to be heading back to the palace soon to get ready for the ball and maybe we'll see Sophia and Silas dancing and maybe we'll even see Oscar and Iris so we'll have to see about that I think that they are pretty intrigued with each other as we can see Simeon is not doing super well <laughs> So over here we have Stuart chatting it up with Kathleen and Winifred. So I think that Kathleen and Winifred, they were kind of like spying on Sophia and Silas earlier, but now they are spying on Oscar and Iris. And I think that they are like pretty intrigued. And Stuart, he noticed that they were talking about our, um, Oscar, and since Oscar is kind of like Stuart's adoptive son in a way, I think that now Stuart's like really intrigued why his son is talking to this princess. Oh no! Adonis! <laughs> Poor guy! Oh my goodness! Alright, so one thing before the ball that I wanted to happen was for Fabian and Celeste to show off Nefele to Sebastian and Ella and the other Briarworth Royals. So now everyone is getting ready for the ball. They're all getting dressed. Oh, um, I took- oh, just ignore that one. Okay. So, um, one thing I like to say is that Macy over here, she is just rolling- oh, sorry. Alright. So Macy, she- Macy, Apollo, and Nefele, they are going to be going to the cottage by the seashore, which is the one that Fabian and Celeste stayed at a long time ago. So they are going to be going there for the evening just um, because the 
fall is going to be pretty busy and I think that it'll be better for them and they're going to be taken care by Fabian's mother who is Amele and yeah so we're going to be having the ball really soon so excited. Also one thing I kind of noticed about Fabian and Sebastian is that they don't have a really good compatibility. Um, so you open up the profile they have bad compatibility, and Fabian thinks that Sebastian is egocentric, which I think is pretty accurate. This is genuinely the scariest thing I've ever seen, but what is Sebastian running from? Oh my goodness. So I did get a little dinner party ready for everybody, because I'm guessing that everyone's like super hungry. I have a little um, banquet area, and Sophia, she made some carrot cake some bread pudding and some fruit pie so i'm just having everyone kind of like interact with each other and so let's see i did have julian and asteria talking earlier oh but i think that's so sweet that julian and charlotte are getting pretty close so i think that we have kathleen over here and I think she's starting to conspire with Winifred and Stuart about the whole um, Oscar and Iris situation, and I think that's super fun. Also, I hope that um, Clementina comes here, but I do want her to talk to Adonis about Sebastian. Well, if Sebastian, where was Sebastian run off to? I don't know where he went, but. I think that um, Adonis and Clementina need to talk to each other about Sebastian. Of course, without Sebastian being around because it's kind of like sensitive information, they really want to expose Sebastian one day for what, what he could be doing. So I think that'd be super fun for them. <laughs> I, I'm, not very, I'm not a very big Sebastian fan myself, so I think that'd be amazing. And also, I think that Ambrose and Arabella are going to be kind of like watching Silas. They kind of realize that Silas might have like a little crush on somebody, so I think they're kind of excited about that. And also, I th oh, Oscar and Percy had a sentiment. That's really cute. I think that um, Dawn, she's kind of worried about Sophia. Um, finding some mistletoe, and she doesn't really know much about Silas. I mean, she did actually see Silas in a story post, but she never, like, went up to talk to him. So I think um, Dawn is wondering about Silas and what he's like. So I, I do think she's kind of worried that Sophia is going to be a bit chaotic, and so she did hide the mistletoe when they went ice skating. So, uh, unfortunately for Dawn, I think Stuart has found it. Also, if anyone is wondering where I get all this CC from, I do have a Pinterest board in my description, and also you can always ask me for anything specific. I'm really good at finding things that I have, so I am very excited to help anyone who needs to find something. Also, I think it's pretty funny how um, the caterer right here is actually Charlotte's dad, so I, I don't know why that the game chose Charlotte's dad to cater this, but that's pretty nice. Also, Asteria and Celeste had the sweetest mother-daughter moment. I who Julian is talking to. Hmm. Oh, he's talking to Clementina, I think. I think Clementina is like teasing Julian about Charlotte, like right here. I think that um, Clementina kind of likes the idea of Julian and Charlotte together. I do think that during this event, um, Silas and Dawn did get to talk to each other a little bit. Probably just a little polite conversation, but I think now Dawn knows who Silas is, and I think he's pretty, like, she's pretty, you know, okay with Silas. She, um, she doesn't know him very well yet, but I think that they do, I think they would get along. But yeah, it looks like that Dawn and Silas have amazing compatibility, so yeah, I do think they get along pretty well. Alright, so I added Sebastian to the household to see like what was up with him. He is scared of the dark, but he was just listening to Oscar and Sophia and Silas and Iris talking, and I think that he's a bit nervous that um, Sophia was, uh, sorry, Silas was talking to this princess, Sophia, over here. 
I think that he's just kind of like wondering what's going on with that. So he's probably going to do some little investigating. He might try to find out who is like the chaperone of, um, who's like um, the princess's chaperone. And hopefully he'll get to talk to her later. And I did set up a little ball um, uh, with the Regency Romance mod. And I was like testing this out earlier, like in a different household. And sometimes like just one person will dance. So I think that's kind of funny. Um, I think Percy is trying to dance with Iris or is it Oscar? I'm not sure. <laughs> I just want to say that I love the Regency Romance mod so much. Um, I think recently they added um, two or two more dances. This is the Viennese Waltz. And oh, I think it looks so pretty. And also Arabella is watching Silas. He's like right there. And I think and Simeon's also watching too. But it looks so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I think Arabella is like really happy for Silas. I think it's like, I think that's so funny how like Kathleen is like giving a little look to Arabella because she's also watching too and they're, they're actually like all watching them. That's so funny. Also, if you're wondering who this is, this is actually Prince Edward. He is um, by Victorian Empires and I kind of sneakily took Edward and added him to the Yuletide Ball. So he, in like, my timeline, he's actually betrothed to Lady Grace, who is Julian Clementina's cousin and Cornelius, Cornelius' sister. And this is, I would say, this is like, this is when they were fiancés and um, before they actually got married to each other. Yeah, so this is actually Lady Grace right here. And one thing about Lady Grace and Edward is that actually in their sto in Victorian Empire story, they actually have a a lot of children and even some grandchildren now so um you should definitely check it out to their story one thing that i kind of hinted with earlier is that charlotte has a little crush on julian i think that she also has a little crush on silas because both silas and julian are princes and they're also pretty nice so i think that charlotte and kind of likes silas a little bit now, I think at this point, I think Sebastian figured out figured out that Dawn was Sophia's sister. So I think that um, Sebastian is like trying to question her a lot about Sophia. And I think that um, Dawn finds this pretty rude to be so insistent about talking about her sister. And I think that Dawn finds this a little bit insulting. Especially since Dawn really wanted to talk to Ambrose and Arabella about Silas. I think that Sebastian finds it pretty rude that... Or, I think Dawn finds Sebastian, like, pretty rude. Trying to interrupt a conversation between herself and Ambrose and Arabella. But yeah, I definitely think that Dawn is unimpressed with Sebastian's behavior. So I finally... I got Dawn talking to Arabella about... Um, probably the top of Silas, and I also got Grace and Edward dancing with each other. Oh, I think that's, I think they're so sweet. They have, um, yeah, they have a lot of children, and also, um, first one was Alistair. Alistair's not very good, he's not a very good guy. Then we have Lily, and we also have Emmett, and Emmett's super cute, so I really love them a lot. <laughs> So I got Iris and Oscar dancing. So I think that Oscar is like pretty poor at dancing. He doesn't, he hasn't really practiced that much. And Iris, Iris would have practiced for many years now. And um, they were, um, <laughs> Oscar, he was being a bit awkward. And I think, uh, they were, they were both being a bit awkward to each other, so they don't have a romance bar yet, but I think that, you know, they are pretty intrigued with one another. And I think that we can definitely see something blossom from this, but we'll just have to wait a little bit. All right, it wouldn't be Yuletide if Sophia and Silas didn't have their mistletoe kiss. And I think that's so sweet. It's actually also their first kiss. And oh my goodness, I love them so much. 
They actually, oh, they have, oh my gosh, they have like almost full friendship bar and a full romance bar. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. I definitely had to do it again with Sophia, so, oh my goodness, ah, I love, <laughs> oh, I love them so much. Oh, I need to see what their sentiment is. Okay, it is, <gasps> oh, scandal. <laughs> Sophia kissed Silas before marriage. If anyone finds out, it can ruin them. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Lady Eris might find that out, but I, there's no one else in this room, so, <laughs> okay. So, Silas' sentiments about Sophia smitten. Sophia's sentiments about Silas. Growing close from quality time, adoring, and comfortably compatible lifestyles. Aw, I love them so much. <laughs> I wonder if there's actually going to be a scandal. We'll have to see about that. And unfortunately for Dawn, um, apparently Sophia did, you know, find the mistletoe. But don't worry, because Stuart saved some for Dawn. And I think that's so sweet. I know that Stuart and Dawn, they're both hurting a lot. But I think that their relationship is absolutely the sweetest. And I love them so much. But yeah, so this will be the end of episode 5. Please let me know what you think about it. And I am really excited for episode 6. Also, I did create new family trees for all the royal families. They're going to be in my description if you want to check them out. If you're not sure like how the family relationships work, then those are great for seeing all of like the relationships. And... Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.